click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends so you are going to learn today how to draw the network diagram called as arrow one network diagram or simply called as the critical path network diagram let's first learn how to draw the diagram you first read the question and try to understand what exactly the question is and how to interpret the question then only it will be it will be easy for us to draw the diagram secondly drawing the diagram requires lot of practice and there is no foolproof technique or method uh, that will be used to solve the problem other than the conventional rules i will say each problem is unique in one in, in, in its own sense and you can't really follow a common process or a common method for solving the problem there will be some common rules that will be followed but every problem you need to read the whole problem and decide how to connect the different activities based on which activities are succeeding activities and which activities are preceding activities so let's start the problem here is the problem draw the network for the following network diagram so we have activities a b c d e f and g so we have total seven activities then we have a second row where we have it is written preceding activity against this there is a blank against a the dash against a indicates that there is no activity before a so i will say is a is the first activity so if i am standing in a queue and if there is no one before me that means i am the first person in the same manner in case of activities there is no other activity before a that means a is the first activity then b and c ke pehle activity a aayega b ke pehle d ke pehle b activity aayega e ke pehle preceding activity hoga c and then we need to join d and e then we need to join d and e be careful now while drawing d and e we need to draw in such a manner that they will be joined and then after completion of d and e we have f and after f we have g we need to understand understand the table table mein bahut clearly likha hua hai a ke pehle koi bhi activity nahi hai a ke baad b aur c shuru hoga b ke baad d shuru hoga c ke baad e shuru hoga d aur e combine hoga uske baad f shuru hoga aur f ke baad g start hoga so we need to start drawing the network diagram my first arrow will be for activity a so here is my activity a then after completion of a a is the preceding activity for b and c iska matlab b aur c jo hoga wo a ke baad shuru hoga b and c can start only after completion of a so i will draw two activities simultaneously after a one will be b and other will be c so i got two activities b and c which will start after completion of a then after b we have d and after c we have e b ke baad d aayega c ke baad e aayega aur b aur c ke baad jo d aur e aayega वो दोनों मुझे कंबाइन करना है वहां से निकलेगा एफ सो आई नीड टू ड्रॉ सो 
B के बाद D, B के बाद D और C के बाद E, C के बाद E और ये मैंने D और E कंबाइन इसलिए किया बिकॉज इन द नेक्स्ट टाइम वी नीड टू कंबाइन D एन E और वहां से निकलेगा F यहां से निकलेगा F एंड देन F के बाद आएगा G F के बाद आएगा G सो हेर इज आवर ऑरिजिनल क्वेश्चन विल चेक वंस अगेन वेदर वी आर proper or whether we are accurate in the drawing the diagram we'll just check the conditions a is the initial activity a ke baad b or c mera a ke baad b or c aa raha hai b ke baad d c ke baad e b ke baad d c ke baad e d or e combine hua wahan se nikla f d or e combine kiya wahan se nikla f and at last f ke baad mera final activity or the terminal activity G and then these are the circles called as nodes. जिनको मैं numbers दूँगा, I'll note them with the numbers. Let's give them the numbers: one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So in this problem, we only had the network drawing. Conditions. There was no duration given. If they had given the duration of the different activities, you could have noted them here in the bracket against the particular activity. You just write down here network diagram. That's it. Something similar can be expected in the exam for maybe three or four marks. And if they give Uh, a simple one, maybe hardly for two or three marks. They have asked similar questions in the exam in the past for two marks, three marks in conceptual based questions or in objective based questions. They are given limited three or four activities and they are told to draw a network diagram. So drawing a network diagram can be a simple question for two or three marks. With duration, it can be a bigger question for maybe four or five marks. Thanks, thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe to our channel, Ikeda.